All right, so I'd said after last season, Draymond Green had become more trouble than he's worth to the Warriors at this stage of his career. They did wind up losing to the Suns last night to fall to 10 and 13, with Draymond almost certainly facing another fairly lengthy, maybe long suspension. So, Keyshawn, you do know Draymond. How should the NBA punish him this time? Well, I mean, he's got to get suspended. Um, what those games are, I, I don't know, Skip. He has a, he has a history, a repeat offender, yes. of many, multiple things, whether it's the referees or whether it's getting into altercations with two or three guys in the past. It's, it, yeah. His list of altercations is not lengthy as much as it is the suspension side of it. Mm. And what I mean by that, based on the tender in the NBA, right, when you, when you look at some of the, the things that he's gotten into have, has been, in my opinion, some egregious acts. Mm. You can look at, you can go all the way back and look at the LeBron James situation. Oh. Ah, well, you know, he kind of did that. that that's well, whatever. That. That, that's whatever he got kicked out of the game and they wind up losing the championship. Mm -hmm. But if you go and you look at a year ago, stepping on Sabonis, that to me, that, that's egregious. You're too big, your weight, stepping on somebody's chest, whether Sabonis was able to finish the game or not, that could have done some damage to him both externally yeah. and internally. Yep. Then when you're looking at the Woody, the Woody, the, the Rudy Gobert mm -hmm. choke out, yep. that was a little bit much. Mm -hmm. It was extended. Maybe it was a grab and a pull, and that's it. But it, it lasted several seconds beyond that. Now you look at what went on last night with mm -hmm. Nurkic. He wouldn't even, you know, the interesting thing about this from a basketball standpoint Steve Kerr benched Looney, made a decision that Draymond was going to be best to go up against Nurkic in he that. Did. So they needed him in that aspect. Yes, they Frustration did. Frustration led into mm -hmm. this, I don't know what you call it, 360 worldly, I'm, I'm really going to hit you, but then in the end, I think I don't want to hit you, so I kind of want to slap you mm -hmm. a little bit, but I didn't really mean to do it that way. I've never seen a player try to get on the blocks or defend the blocks, what you usually are pushed or pushed back, mm -hmm. not spent around because he didn't grab his waist in turning. No. So clearly, what Draymond said in the post-game interview is a damn lie. Okay, and it's about time that he stops mm. because I'm tired of always having to get up here. You mean, damn lie about an accident, <clears throat> like it was an accident. Yeah, I mean, like, to, like, yeah, like, okay. come on, man. Yeah, I get it. Right. I understand you may have been. Uh, uh, acting a certain way, you're a bad actor, mm -hmm. to get a foul. But in the end, you didn't get the necessarily fouls that you thought you was going to get. So you decided to, to basically attack a dude, hit a dude, because you can with those players. It's interesting when I look at and I love Draymond, man, and, I, and when I see him, I'm going to have a conversation with him. You picking on dudes that just, for me, just is weird. Like, I ain't really seen you go at Julius Randle. Maybe y'all got a, a issue and y'all cool or whatever, but I haven't seen the enforcers. That's a good point. That's I've only point. seen you attack outside LeBron James. You going at the dudes that are, you know, people like Sabonis, mm -hmm. this nice guy. Yes. You know, Rudy Gobert, people don't really like because of the whole situation know, that happened. I know, but he's almost too nice a guy. But he's, a, he does, yeah. he's not looking to no, fight. No, right. no. Like, now, all of a sudden, you do this no. to Nurkic. Not, Nurkic is not, he's just looking to play basketball. He's just a good dude. He de, he's I, not going to so, fight. So, yeah. you know, I'd like to see you, if you're going to do it, do it to somebody that has the same sort of makeup as you. Yeah. Find that dude in the NBA and let me see how that goes. <clears throat> Agreed. You know, and, and yeah, he should be suspended, though. Mm. Yeah, Absolutely. I, I, think, I think he's going to get suspended 10 games. Uh, you know, I'm a Draymond Green fan. I've, I've, I've liked him. I like the, the Golden State Warriors and what they've built. But, I mean, like you said, Key, we can't sit up here and defend this. Uh, I mean, I don't, I don't see a place for this. I, 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 you can look for every angle. I, you know, I'm, I'm a guy that likes to get under people's skin, that, that, that <laughs> pushes the envelope, that does all this. But <laughs> you can't just turn around and, and slap somebody and then continue and then say, now, maybe he didn't do it, he didn't do it on purpose. Like he said, to turn mm -hmm. around without looking and know exactly where you're hitting the guy is kind of it's kind of stretchy, but <clears throat> you intended on doing something because you don't swing that hard. You know what I mean? You're like you know he's behind you, so when you swing, one thing athletes have is spatial awareness. Like you have spatial awareness, you know exactly where you are. Your defender is. That's what yep. makes them special. That's what makes them great great athletes. But him spinning with his arms failed. He knew he's gonna hit something. Skip. <laughs> I, 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 and so 
I, you know, I, it's just one of them BS kind of Bush League moves where you're like, bro, like, what are we doing? What are we doing, Draymond? Like, the, 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 when, he, when, he, when he did the thing with Gobert and he choked out Gobert, I'm like, okay, at least you're defending Clay. You know what I mean? He, he grabbing your teammate, you grabbing him. Yeah, All that's right. fine. <clears throat> that's, 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 but it went a little longer than it, went it a little probably than, should have. Right. It, it probably should have. But at the end of the day, this, I don't see a place. I don't see what you're doing. The man pushed you out to, to the three-point line. Like, you're not even on the block anymore. So it's like... Hey, at that point, hey, maybe go screen and reposition and yeah. get back in the game. But, like, where, where are you spinning to? Where are you flopping to? The, the ref's not going to give you that because he's not even pushing you away from the basket. You're at the three-point line. Yep. Posting up. <laughs> what, are we, what are we posting up at the three-point line for? And so I think it goes deeper than this, Skip. I think it goes as somebody who's been through some things. Mm -hmm. I know what it looks like when somebody is you going do. through some things and they and they – and they're taking out frustrations that may have originated elsewhere on the court. And I think that's what's going on. I think that's what probably Nurk is just talking I about. Like, he you need too. some help. Yeah. Because, you know, at the end of the day, these are human beings. They go through the ups and downs, the frustration, good days, bad days, uh, you know, stuff going on at home, the kids ain't, ain't doing right, or, or, you know, trouble in your relationship, whatever the case may be. And sometimes it spills over onto your profession. So, you know, maybe that's what's going on, Skip. But, it's, mm -hmm. again, they're going to suspend him, and they yeah. should suspend him. And 10 games for me. I'm with you. I wrote down last night 10 games. But the more I've watched that, the more I've thought about what you say and you say, it might be more than 10 games this time. Because I can tell you this. This commissioner of this league is not going to like this one. Not on top of that one and that one and that one. Because this league cares about its image. What, what is the look of this? It's a really bad look for the league. Because the video is so egregious, even though, as we agree, the hand opens. Like, if he lands with a closed fist, we got some blood on the court. I'm pretty sure he, he's going to do some serious damage. Mm -hmm. And that would call for more than a suspension. You know, he might be gone for the year if, if you connect like that. But the point is, he did do what he did in response to what Gobert was doing to Clay, which brings me to the conflict here. There, there's a whole lot to like about Draymond. A whole lot to like. No question. He has a great personality. He has great charisma. He, he might be the next Charles Barkley on TNT because I think they already have a connection and a deal where he's going to segue at some point fairly soon into a TNT career. And you know him well enough that you've sat down and had meals with him. He's fun to be around. Yeah. And he has been a rock for that team for a long time because that team <clears throat> could not have done what it did well, without... Okay the enforcement that he brought to a finesse basketball team. And I'm not saying he's a classic 70s, 80s uh, enforcer type, because I don't know that he's a real badass tough guy. But by today's standards, he's a tough guy. And by their standards, he is the toughest guy because they needed the edge that he brought to them. Mm -hmm. And they needed the basketball, and I don't use this word lightly, the basketball genius that he brought to them because he's got some genius about him because he's Rodman-esque. He's not the greatest athlete. He's not a leaper. He, he, he's not the most athletic guy. But they run the whole offense through him. That One of the greatest offenses ever has run through this man because he has such a great feel for getting Steph and Clay their shots, for getting everybody in the right place at the right time. And I don't think he's gotten enough credit for that. Right. But the problem is he started to go a little over the edge and a little more over the edge. And I think the NBA liked it to an extent because – it's almost like the NHL, you know, they, they kind of sold fighting during the regular season because it, it helps sell the game. So some of the edge is good because some of it's fun to watch. Some of it's highly entertaining. Until finally, he went, he brought it up, game four, 2016 16, finals. 16. And he went a little over the edge as he was, he, he was already starting to kick in the midsection. He, he kicked uh, Stephen Adams, and yeah. I think there are a couple other kicks in the midsection. And now we're in game four of the finals, and he, he loses it because he gets sick and tired of LeBron whining about calls and this and that, and he screams the <clears throat> B word at him yeah. so audibly that Kiki Vandeway, the minister of justice for the league at that point, is in like the third row, and he can hear it. They don't like it because it, it's, it's no... 
it's not what they want to sell as a product. Right. And then he follows it up by going up to the other end and he and LeBron get tangled up and he kicks him in the midsection. See, if okay, you, you're if gone. You, if you look at it, though, Steve. Oh, oh yeah. no. what are we doing? <laughs> Close enough. Yeah, right, right. He's if, in the ballpark. If you look at it, when they've won championships, his behavior hasn't been this. No. Nope. When mm -hmm. they've lost the championship, mm -hmm. well, like that, you just mentioned in 2016, that that or not door. getting to the championship, yeah. Yeah. his behavior has essentially been this. It has been and this. And so, in the end, is it worth, well, it's, it's obviously it was worth it to bring him back and give him $100 million again, because that's what the Golden State Warriors thought. Now, are they looking at this and saying to themselves, this is too much management on our part well, I, every I, single okay, I, other day. I think they should have after last year. It was him or Jordan Poole. Obviously, uh, we, we know the incident preseason last year. Here's another guy he that him. You, yeah. here's another guy that I feel wasn't going to defend himself okay. against a Draymond. No, he was not going to defend when, himself. You know, and some people know these sort of things yeah. when they go at certain they, people. They know, but did did Jordan Poole say something to him that was so over the edge that it it almost warranted a punch. Maybe, I, I maybe. Wish I knew. Right. Okay, I wish I knew too. But if, if I know Draymond, I think something got said that was way below the belt. Yeah. But multiple as, times, probably. A, a, as the leader of the team, maybe not the leader, because Steph is probably the. But as a leader of that basketball team, you have to know in your deepest subconscious, there's one line you can't cross, you can't punch him for it. You can talk to him about it, you can go back at him all you want, but you can't deck him in front of the rest of the team. Yes. Right? Okay, so he did. And, and all of a sudden, you're on a collision course. Where, now, now, once you throw that punch, Somebody's got to go, Somebody. and, and they tried to muddle through last year, and, and it didn't work. Well, well, somebody had to go because they went public. It went you know, public, it, it, and, it, and it, by the way, somebody leaked that video, or we, we they, would not be having they, this. Even if they didn't leak it, and yeah. we never saw it, yeah. it still was going to it cause would. a rift amongst everybody it, on the court. It, it yeah. would have caused a rift, but fights happen all the time. And I've been part For of sure. teams where, where, where dog, like, these are... Fist fights, and then you shake hands, and then yeah, you right, go on right. about your day. Yeah, but, but a sucker punch is different yeah. than me and you squaring up. Yeah. See, yeah, a sucker, if I walked up to you, Richard, and we was in Seattle, and I just sucker punched you because you said I was too tall, and I just decided to sucker punch you, that is going to damage the infrastructure yeah. of a team, yeah, even no matter how good we are. I, it, our, 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 uh, sucker punch is, is, sucker is, debatable, punch. is debatable because if I'm standing you there face to face and I push you, but then we go down a tangent on that. But if I push you and we face to face, I know we got conflict. Yeah, so but, sucker you, punch, but I'm not expecting <laughs> you to hit me. But sucker punch is, is you ain't looking, <clears throat> you ain't expecting conflict. I'm coming from the side, you know. So what, what I'm saying is if, if it doesn't go public and it's not on social media and we're not talking about it on yeah. talk shows every day, I don't know if Jordan Poole is in Washington right now because it can, it, it, like you said, Jordan had these fights. There's probably <clears throat> been plenty of fights that have happened in the NBA that you never heard about. They, and guys just like, hey, we good? Like, like, hey, we need to get that out. Cool. Let's go on about the season and let's get, let's. I, I, I get your point. Yeah, but Jordan's was yeah. different with Steve Kerr. It wasn't the same as that you didn't with Draymond. See, you don't know what it was because we don't see it. I no. guarantee if we have video of it and we saw it. We only read and, about it in we, you Sam Smith's it. book. Yeah. And, and then people can paint the picture however they want it. But if we had a video of it and they were talking about it on talk shows yeah. and Steve Kerr got decked and he was on the ground sleep at practice, we'd be talking about a whole <laughs> yeah. different conversation. That would, be, that would be good. It wouldn't no. be good. And so, no. but but since we can see everything and that's why this social media age, <clears throat> this this age where everybody's accessible. Yeah, I, I agree. It but changes Keisha, the narrative. To your point, there are two kinds of fights. There's one where you're going back and forth and you yeah. say, well, what are you going to do about it? Yeah. Well, I'll show you what I'm going to do about it. Now, now, now you I have know. squared I, now up. I got, right, now right. I okay. got my now, defense now here mechanism we go. up. We're on yes. level playing field. Absolutely. Right. This is he just hauled off and decked him, and yeah. I think the most shot guy in the building was, was Jordan Poole. Was Jordan Poole. Yeah. Even if I push you, yeah. Richard, even if I push you and I'm walking away from you, and you roll up on me, I'm not expecting you as my teammate to Key. haul off and try and break my jaw. <laughs> Key. Just not. Key, Key, you're from, a, you're from a very similar place of where I'm from. Uh, absolutely. If, if I'm standing there nose to nose with you, and you know you saw my demeanor when I walked up, and I, you push me, and you can look me in my eye. You look When, when you look into somebody in their eyes, yeah. Skip, it's different. That's why it's not a sucker punch. If I'm looking you in your eye, I yeah, see it's a one thing in the neighborhood. Punch, it, yeah. There you go, Skip. I was just about to say that. It, it's a sucker punch 
because I know who you are, <laughs> and you ain't gonna do nothing to me. And I know you're not gonna do nothing to me, so therefore, I'm gonna take my best shot to try to break your jaw. So, so you're saying he punched the sucker? Uh, well, I mean, you call it whatever you, <laughs> yeah, call it whatever right, you right, want right. to call it. Yep. You, he didn't punch me. That's for damn sure. Because sure. to this day, we would still be fighting. That's what I'm saying. They would have had to separate would. both I of agree. them. All right. But in the end, I feel like Draymond knows who to pick on. Mm -hmm. That's why he does oh. some of these things. Yep. And he's only hurting his team. Right. They are two and five with his suspensions and his all those sort of things. They're two and five, man. Mm -hmm. And then their total record is 10 and 13. 10 and 13. And, 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 and Steve Kerr is looking at this thing saying, we thought we were going to run this back a certain way. And it's not happening. And now I got a guy that I benched another guy for that's supposed to take care of business for us in the fourth quarter. Eight minutes remaining in the fourth quarter, he gets ejected because he does something even stupid. Now, all of a sudden, we're looking at 10-plus games, potentially, on a suspension side. Right, no now, you're missing even more games that's going to cost us even more. So, yep. so, Skip, what do they do with him in the offseason, you think? Again, last somebody gotta season, be able to I would have said no, but somebody's going to, or, or they maybe trade deadline. Maybe they, why is Bob Myers sitting on the set with ESPN right now doing basketball commentary instead of running a basketball team? Because he saw this handwriting on that locker room wall and he said, I'm going to get out while the getting is good, good because right. I don't see this thing working much longer. And it's starting to tailspin. Unravel a little bit. It's just starting to unravel. So I say... I mean, we'll they take should, you in L.A., though. Okay. Well, well, you, you know what? If, if, if you, you but if you put him with LeBron, I think LeBron would be able to sort That's of... That's what I'm saying. Yeah, they're the same family now. They're the same family. That's what I think we can take okay, him in so, L.A. So the one incident that got me, the last quick point, is what happened at after game or during game one of two years ago at Memphis when he got ejected there and he took a wild victory lap. And I'm like, y you've yeah. lost it, man. This is clownish. Th this is where am I? Am I like a wrestling heel, like a wrestling villain now? What, what am I doing? And he goes straight back to his hotel room and get, goes live on his podcast. Yeah, I didn't right. like that. Okay. I didn't like that. I didn't like that for him yeah. based on what you just said. Yeah. It looks... Clown, like it, 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 just, it, it, does, it, it don't look good. It looked like it, a caricature. Yeah, it looked like a caricature. caricature. Yeah. The, yeah. These Absolutely. are the warriors. Yeah. The, this was a dynasty, like that when thanks came. in part to him. And, and another thing I, I really don't like is it takes attention away from the teammates. And Steph Curry is one of the greatest in, 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 to ever play. To ever yeah, play this game. Sure. He's on a lot Absolutely. of people's Mount Rushmore of, yeah. of, of greatest point guards, as he should be. But then you got Draymond getting attention for this. It's almost like... You start to downplay what Steph's doing. You don't even get to pay attention to it. Steph's having a great season. You know, they're not yep. winning. They're 10 to 13, but he's yep. having a great season. He's doing what he's supposed to do. And you're not allowing this team to have the success and his teammates to get the shine that they deserve yep. because we're sitting here talking about Draymond getting ejected for Got slapping it. somebody in the face. And so that's where I'm a big fan of, of Draymond, like I said. And, and, and Draymond, he, he took responsibility. Hey, that was wrong. I can apologize. But you got to take responsibility by yep. not doing it anymore. Yep. You can't just keep slapping people. It's almost like that franchise got addicted to Draymond, and now they can't win with him or without him, so they think. And so they keep clinging to the past, and it just keeps getting worse and worse. But the commissioner is going to come down hard on this because – that was a bad look. Whether he connected hard or not, it looks really bad. Yeah, you say, well, they they got they they couldn't live without him or with mm, him or, yeah. and all that. I don't think they envision what is it. What was it? It's been three ejections in 31 days, something like yeah. that. <laughs> I don't think they envision that no, when they signed no. him back. No. Yeah, maybe he gets ejected. Maybe he gets, maybe there's one suspension because of the ejections, mm -hmm. but not the two acts that have taken place yeah. with Rudy Gobert and then now Nurkic. I don't think that they envision that at all right. when they made the decision to re-sign him and bring him back. Right. I think tomorrow we will lead this show with the length of the suspension because I think it'll come down fairly quickly today. Or the, next, Cowboys, oh, no, the Cowboys don't play. No, they don't play. They don't play. <laughs> they, they, they don't play tonight, I don't think, but if they do, they'll win. <laughs> All right, up next, we got to talk about this. Richard clued me in last night to this. Cam Newton expresses some very controversial views of today's top portrait backs. Stay with us. Thanks for watching, Undisputed fans. Do you want more highlights from the show? Make sure to click that subscribe button for all the exclusive content from Undisputed.